I never heard of this place till now, but it is one of the cutest, quaintest I've ever visited. So we're in Jim Fort, Pennsylvania. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Did I expect that? Jim Thorpe was founded back in the early 1800s and it's located in the Poconos Mountains. There's a ton of outdoor activities and there's also art galleries, bed and breakfast, dining, shopping, tours, and a lot of architecture and history to explore. Going on the choo-choo train. So it's the Jim Thorpe Fall Foliage Festival and it goes on today through October 23rd and they have all these vendors, they have food trucks, they have live performances, they have all kinds of vendors studying like arts and crafts, it's amazing. So I guess it's a thing to get a picture with the big giant chunk of coal here in the middle of town. So there it is. <laughs> we loved walking around seeing all the century homes that are full of so much character and charm. And all the townspeople get into the spirit and they go all out for Halloween decorating. I hear fall is the best time to visit, but also at Christmas, the town turns into a Hallmark movie. There are several charming bed and breakfasts, but we decided to stay at the historic Inn of Jim Thorpe. It was built in the mid-1800s and supposedly haunted. It's right in the center of town, so it's walking distance to everything. The Harry Potter themed coffee shop is a perfect way to start the day, but there's also a lot of other restaurants and bars nearby. There's an Alice in Wonderland restaurant and winery, Molly McGuire's Tavern, and our absolute favorite place to go for drinks is the Harry Packer Haunted Mansion. More about that in a minute. There are art galleries and really cute shops where you'll find stuff you won't find anywhere else. And this cute Christmas store, which is open year round, is absolutely adorable. If you're brave enough, check out the darker, spookier side of Jim Thorpe. This store sells magic potions, crystals, spell books, and other kinds of paraphernalia. You can also do a ghost tour through town or the old jail where several Molly Maguires were publicly executed back in the 1800s. Toward the Asa Packer Mansion, it was built in 1800s and since 1912 when it was last resided in, every single item throughout the home has been preserved and still in its original place. And right next door... By far, this is our favorite part of the trip, visiting the Harry Packer original Haunted Mansion for drinks. It's open Friday and Saturday nights to the public, but you can also stay there overnight. And we definitely plan on staying there the next time we visit. 